Well, hello. I want to thank you all for being here. My name is Denise Douglas. I'm the communications director for state's attorney Aisha Braveboy. As you all know, she's here to talk about the indictments in the bus attack case. And so I will turn it over to her, state's attorney Braveboy. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am here to update you on a case that really shocked our region that occurred on May uh, 1st of this year on a Prince George's County school bus where a young student uh, was assaulted and there were three other students who attempted uh, to murder that student. And so uh, we're here to really just update you on where we are with this uh, very important case. Today, three of the teens, uh, 214, 115, uh, were all indicted, each on 16 counts, uh, including first degree attempted murder, or sorry, attempted first degree murder, uh, attempted second degree murder, and related offenses. Um, there was another uh, suspect, a female suspect in this case. Uh, that case has been also moved to uh, circuit court by way of criminal information and she's charged with a conspiracy to commit first degree murder. All of these uh, teenagers have been indicted for criminal information as adults, as adults. And so these cases are now in circuit court in Prince George's County. And our job again is to seek and obtain justice uh, for our victims in this case, as well as our community. I really want to reiterate that we are not playing. This is not a game. Our job is to ensure that our community is safe that people can freely live their lives, that young people can go to school, get their education uh, without the fear of someone pointing a gun at them. It's unacceptable, it will not be tolerated, and it will be handled uh, vigorously. So we are going to prosecute all of these cases to the fullest extent of the law, and we're going to seek justice. Not just in this case, but in every case in this courthouse. And so I wanna send a very strong and firm message to parents. Talk to your children, figure out where they are, who their friends are, what they're doing with their time. Because if they end up on my desk, I'm gonna do my job. We cannot afford to lose lives. We cannot afford the trauma that these incidents cause. It is completely outside of the realm of what should happen in Prince George's County. I'm putting my foot down. This office is standing firm and strong against crime committed by anyone, regardless of age. So, you may have questions for me uh, today. I'm happy to answer those that I can answer. Uh, but I do wanna thank um, my prosecutor on this case, our Chief of Homicide, Sherry Waldrop, who's with me today, along with Leona. Oh, is Leona with us? No, okay, Leona Banks-Ward is our Victim Witness Coordinator. She was with us earlier, along with my Chief of Staff and my entire team. You know, we love this community. I grew up here. I'm from Prince George's County. I went to the public schools. I rode the public school buses. And never did I once fear for my life on a public school bus. I want every child in this county to grow up the way I did, not fearing when they are seeking their education to improve themselves, to get a, a grasp on their future. It is not fair to them. It's not fair to their parents. 
It's not fair to our bus drivers, our bus aides. It's not fair to our teachers, our principals, our administrators. It's not fair to anyone that there are people who are selfish. There are people who want to exact revenge or they want to just do something that they think is fun or they want to scare someone or they intend to kill someone. Whatever they intend to do, if they do it with a gun, they do it with their fists, they do it with a knife, my job is to hold them accountable. And that's what we're gonna do. That's the message we're sending here today with these indictments and the message that we will continue to send with our prosecutions as we move forward. So I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Yes. We, we're still investigating. So this is still under investigation. Um, and so we have indicted four people so far in this case. Um, or we have, there are four cases that are in circuit court now. Three have been indicted. One has been criminal information. Uh, but uh, we are still uh, pursuing leads. And it's an open investigation. And so there will likely be additional charges. She is charged as an adult. Yes. Okay. Are you going to talk about the assault against the Yes. Um, and I'll, I'll allow um, Sherry Waldrop uh, to talk uh, a little bit more about that. But just understand that both the bus driver and the bus aide uh, were in fear of their lives. They were in fear. And um, I think that we have spent a lot of time talking about the student who was the primary target, uh, which we should, because no parent uh, wants their child in that situation. But also, no family wants someone going to their place of, of work, uh, experiencing the, the fear and the panic uh, that these uh, individuals who work for our school system had that day. Um, so I'll, I'll let uh, Sherry talk about uh, why uh, those charges uh, related to those victims are part of this indictment. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, you know, unfortunately, I'm a limited in what I can say beyond the indictment itself. I can tell you that there were uh, four counts for each the bus driver and the bus aide. Um, so four counts on each indictment relating to both of those individuals, um, including first degree assault, second degree assault, reckless endangerment, and use of a firearm in the commission of a crime of violence. Yeah. With this, with him apparently facing a murder charge as a juvenile. Oh, okay. How baby tag? Uh, how is that going to work as far as him being? We're still really early in this, so I mean, those questions I, I don't think we have uh, uh, concise answers to at this time. But just understand that we are very serious about getting the cases prosecuted here, um, and so we'll work with our partners in the District of Columbia. But the uh, charges that the, that uh, these individuals are facing here are very, very serious. Um, and we want to hold them accountable here. What uh, type of punishment? I know there are juveniles being charged as adults. So 14, 15 years old, what type of punishment are they looking at? Um, well, let me just say that the reason why they are charged as adults is because they are charged with offenses that carry life sentences. So I can't tell you uh, what they might face. I can tell you what the possibility is at this time. Well, let me just say this, uh, that happens in every case. <laughs> um, 
we plan to pursue this case to the fullest extent of the law, period. Um, ultimately, a judge will determine whether or not the cases remain uh, in circuit court or are waived to the juvenile court. Uh, so we have uh, some influence, uh, we can state our position, uh, but ultimately a judge will review uh, reports that are generated by the Department of Juvenile Services. They will listen to any arguments of defense counsel as well before rendering their decision. So. Yeah, that probably not for another couple months or so, but we'll definitely keep you posted on when uh, those hearings are held. Yes. Why are all three charged? I mean, from what we know, baby case, the one who attempted to repeatedly fire the gun. Why do all three face the exact same charge? Conspiracy. But what, why, why uh, the attempted murder charge the same for all of them? Because they all intended uh, to act in concert with one another. Uh, Baby K, yes, had the gun, uh, but the other two were beating and punching and attempting to prevent uh, the um, target uh, from being able to get off the bus even. So they were working in concert with each other. And so that's what young people need to understand. You don't have to be the one with the gun. If you go somewhere, you know that the person you're with intends to do harm, you're working in concert with that person, even if you don't have the gun, you can be charged too with the attempted murder or in some cases with murder, depending on what the outcomes were. In this case, remember, there was not one pull of the trigger. There were not two pulls of the trigger, three. Three. There was clear intent there. Everyone knew it. Uh, and so everyone's being held accountable for the same exact charges. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.